School of My Dreams, by Estrella Serrano Esteban. My idea of school is where when living people would always want to come back again, where no child feels repressed or forced, where every child feels responsible of their own growth and learning and free to work on topics that make him or her feel enthusiastic for, being able to work in ideas that could turn into reality. To offer this freedom is important the support of the rest of the entire community, education community. A child is a potential human without prejudice that moves for its interests and likes. That's why their growth is strongly affected by the circumstances that surround them. By definition, the child is someone with a responsibility. It needs a representative figure that disappears at a certain age when the child is mature enough to face the adversities. Some of the some the child, sometimes the childhood is seen as a very critical period, so adults tend to create a bubble around them so that they cannot get hurt by anything or anyone, anywhere and anyhow. In the school of my dreams, every child is seen as one that is learning how to become a responsible adult, getting help but not accomplishing expectations, just solving problems by, it, by itself. By the other side, we have children that get too many responsibilities too early. In this point, I like very much the idea from the liberal education, which main objective is to produce open-minded people free from dogma, preconception or ideology. The counselors are adults that may act as a guide, being enthusiastic with their work and finally leading the child to a happy life where he or she knows how to express itself in any occasion so that they will feel like coming back to school every time. Physically, that idea of school is wide open, it's clear and bright. Everyone has its own space to reflect, write and watch films, documentaries, TV, even to have an app to skip the noisy places or keep their personal belongings. About the common areas, we have classrooms, but these are options, not as the main place for the process of education. There are various counselors conducting projects that will treat various contents at the same time. The classroom would be full of instruments and new technologies, giving the counselors enough material to prepare more complex activities that make the participants work more efficiently. The child needs time for itself without instructions too. And the, the school will provide also some areas with ludic or educational games for them to develop their humanistic skills in a non-observational period of time. Finally, the bathrooms will be shared by everyone, no matter the gender. It is vital that gender stereotypes are not imposed on ch in children in primary schools. These are the values that give safe to my school. I believe that respect and freedom are the core values. On one hand, freedom is a perfect term which literally means do anything and everything. And on the other hand, respect is the first thing that an independent person gains. Unity are the idea of considering oneself equal to the others. Multiculturalism is strongly taken to of the hand of equality, which means accepting and it's linked to the humility. Integration and inclusion are the representation of a preparation for the real life. Integral education, seeing the childhood as the years when experimentation plus curiosity is key. Ambition, to avoid the pupils to become conformists. And happiness, having the emotional competence as more important than the knowledge, helping to rationalize feelings and improving the self-confidence. The educational system. In the microsystem, we find two protagonists. The counselor, a specialist that creates projects and workshops for the child to develop different abilities, always having in mind the common goal of the values. In the meso system, we find the team working where there's a coordinator that assures every child has an individual constructive feedback. The schedules of the school are chosen by the child depending on their interests and helped by the adults but they don't need to start every morning at the same time. Finally, the macro system will limit to provide the minimum of items to children should have the, at the end of the school, giving freedom to the counselors